Daniel here at Blue Collar Training, and today I want to talk about fad diets and basically how dumb they are for the most part. Before I get into it, just want to tell you guys I'm not a nutritionist, I'm not, you know, certified trainer or any of that. I'm just someone that has a ton of experience with dieting and training and all that stuff. And I have tried a couple of fat diets and I just kind of wanted to explain to people why it's not really the, the fad diets, why they don't really work. They statistically they work, but technically they don't. And I'll kind of explain what I mean by that. When I say they statistically work is, you know, you see uh, somebody talking about the new diet going on or whatever program they're trying to sell you, keto diet, something like that. When they bring up these people that did the diet or these people, this statistic or, or uh, science back, whatever research, it's not really the diet itself that people are getting results from. It's the exercise that they start implementing into their daily routine and it's the cut back of calories. So what I mean by that is when people do these diets, these fad diets, people tend to start taking the gym more seriously or they start to take their diet more seriously. And when they take their diet more seriously, they're eating a lot less junk. And when they're eating a lot less junk, they're eating a lot less calories. So they're working out more and they're getting less calories and they're getting results and they credit the diet, but it's not really the diet, if that makes sense. It's the fact that they're burning more calories than they're actually you know, eating. And that ultimately that's what's gonna lead to weight loss. And that's what's gonna get you the best results is gonna be being a caloric deficit. So burning burning more calories than you're, than you're uh, consuming. So when I say statistically they work, that's what I mean. And technically, technically they don't work because of the fact that it's not actually the diet. Like I said, it's the it's the fact that they are now in a caloric deficit. They just happen to be on that diet now. But even if you're on a keto diet and say you're, so you're having absolutely zero carbs, right? And you're eating a ton of, well, what do they have? Like eggs, uh, eggs, chicken, salmon, uh, red meat, cheese, butter, if your caloric intake at the end of the day with all that other stuff is still more than you're actually burning, you're not gonna lose any weight. You might actually gain a little bit of weight. You're probably gonna lose water, but you're not gonna get, you're not gonna lose fat. The more carbs you eat, the more water you hold on to. That's why you feel super bloated when you eat a lot of bread. So you might be you might be thinking, oh wow, I can eat all this, you know, red meat and fat and all this stuff and I could still lose weight, but you're not actually losing weight. You're gonna get extremely you're gonna get stagnant extremely quickly. You know, maybe even within like maybe less like a week or two weeks, something like that. Um, I never really like did the keto diet, so I can't say from experience, but I have I know people that have done that and th that exact thing happened to them. They, <clears throat> they're on it for, I think they try it for like a month or something like that. And they lose all this weight in, in like two weeks and they're thinking, oh, wow, I, you know, this, this keto diet's amazing. I'm eating all this and I'm still losing weight. And then after that, you know, two to three week mark, they stop losing weight and they don't know why, what's going on. They don't know if it's, they don't know if they just plateaued in the gym or they don't know what. And then they, they just kind of end up giving up on the diet itself. And then they go back and then they end up even, you know, recompensating and then they eat more and then they act, they just gain all the way back. And 
even though it's just water. So they'll gain all the water way back and they just kind of exactly where they were. They, they just have a hard time sticking to something like that. It's a, uh, it's kind of a instant glorification. You know, you get an instant reward, especially when it comes to having zero carbs. If you can stick it out for long periods of time and you keep your fats to a minimum, then yeah, you're gonna freaking, you're gonna get shredded within, you know, depending on how much body fat percentage you have, but you're gonna get very, very lean very quickly on zero carbs. It just sucks. It's terrible. I've done it and it's, it's pretty miserable. Uh, I wouldn't recommend it unless you're like, you don't care and you just want to, you need to lose weight quickly, like ASAP, then yeah, zero carbs all day, go for it. Like I said before, people need to realize you can't rely on fad diet. You cannot rely on the big new thing. You have to rely on the caloric deficit. That's, I, it doesn't matter who you are in this entire world. It doesn't matter how bad your genetics are. It doesn't matter if you have thyroid issues. It doesn't matter, it doesn't matter who you are. If you're eating less than you're burning, you're gonna lose weight. You're gonna lose body fat. You're gonna see results. That's how the human body works. You know, there might be some very rare, extremely rare cases out there. There's some exceptions, maybe, but I have every single person that I have talk to in the gym or all my friends and family members that have gone into the caloric deficit, gone to the gym consistently, you know, eat good food and keep their calories a lot lower. They, they are always seeing results. They are consistently seeing results. Um, it might take longer for some people than others, but it's going to get there. It's all about consistency. So, just kind of making a quick video on that and it's it's just something that's kind of that's still still relevant somehow i kind of i thought that fad diets kind of died out but i still see the you know people talking about oh this is the new big thing and it's kind of it's just so strange to me so i just wanted to put that information out there especially for beginners if you guys are looking into how to you know what type of diet to follow and you know what type of uh training to do and and i just wanted to basically just wanted to tell you guys don't listen to these people that are pushing for extremely specific things because it's like i said statistically it works but technically it doesn't it's all about the it's all about the caloric deficit if you're trying to lose weight if you're trying to gain weight, that's a completely different video. So, moral of the story, want to lose weight, get in shape, stay consistent on your diet, eat less, um, stay consistent on your cardio, your weight training. That's what's gonna get you results. There's no secret formula. There's no secret diet. There's nothing like that. Very simple. Just like, if you like this video, uh, like, subscribe, comment, Whatever you want to do.